Does fame and recognition in Hollywood always come with fairness when it comes to getting paid here in Hollywood? Well, Kelly Carter has the latest on that conversation, which seems to be rightfully so back in the spotlight. Yes, and we can thank Taraji P. Henson for that because it's not just an issue of disparity when it comes to what men and women are being paid, although that is still a problem. There's also an inequity between white women and women of color. Taraji P. Henson has been booked and busy, but not just for reinventing the role of Suge Avery in The Color Purple. I'm just tired of working so hard, being gracious at what I do, getting paid a fraction of the cost. Her vulnerability during the Sirius XM interview with Gail King helped to reignite a decades-long conversation about the gender pay gap, especially when it comes to women of color. Following her interview, fellow actresses and women of color expressed their support, like Kiki Palmer, who shared her own related struggles. We all work multiple jobs because we have to. Octavia Spencer posted, we have to use our voices to help each other and advocate for change across all industries. And Gabrielle Union following up with a quippy take on Instagram. I'm a black actress and producer in Hollywood. Of course our box office successes never matter. Gabrielle has long been vocal on this issue, speaking out during a sit down with Netta Porter a few years back. There comes a point where I'm not gonna feel good on set if I feel like I'm undervalued mm -hmm. and my money doesn't match my level of contribution. Mm -hmm. Time and again, we've seen non-favored nations for women in Hollywood, like a few years ago while on Chelsea Handler's Netflix special, Hillary Swank shared a shocking story that despite her being an Academy Award winner, she got offered $10 million and I got offered 500,000. What? In 2014, leaked emails from Sony Pictures revealed that Jennifer Lawrence and Amy Adams were making less than their male counterparts on American Hustle. My question to myself was why am I not asking for it? And I think I know that I've always kind of carried a habit of submissiveness with the idea of that makes me more likable. And after Michelle Williams found out, co-star Mark Wahlberg was compensated $1.5 million while she was only paid $1,000 for reshoots on all the money in the world. $17 million and $0. That's how far apart we are. Those numbers have got to move. She felt called upon to speak up on Capitol Hill. And if it was like this for me, a white woman in a glamorized industry, how were my sisters suffering across their professions? Female stars on average earn $1 million less per film than their male counterparts in comparable roles, but that doesn't even account for the further disparity for women of color, as illustrated by Viola Davis at the Women in the World Summit. I have a career that's probably comparable to Meryl Streep, Julianne Moore, Sigourney Weaver, and yet I am nowhere near them. Not as far as money, not as, as far as job opportunities, nowhere close to it. Greta Lee also recently opening up to Elle about her similar outlook. That question, what does representation look like to me? I guess as long as I'm being asked that question, then I know that it's still a problem. And as the group Women in Film pointed out, if Hollywood keeps going at the current slow pace of progress, it will take 140 years to achieve gender parity across the industry. But how can we advocate for change? During the Women Breaking Barriers panel at Sundance Film Festival, Octavia Spencer showed one way with the importance of transparency and fighting for your worth when she recalled the chat with Brandon and former The Help co-star, Jessica Chastain, about negotiating rates for their upcoming film at the time. I said, I, I would love to do your film, but here's the thing, I'm gonna have to get paid. <laughs> and then she said, we're, of course, and you and I are gonna be tied together. We're gonna be favored nations, and we're gonna make the same thing, and you're gonna make that amount. And about one month after her interview with Gail King, Taraji remained strong and spoke out on the talk, sharing the significance of diversity at the decision-making level. If it were not for Oprah Winfrey producing this film, I don't know if I would have been seen or heard, you know? She actually called me and was like, 
If there's anything I can do, you just let me know. I was like, well, since you asked. <laughs> I told her she fixed it, everything the next day. There, and based on everything we just learned there, how could Hollywood and the media really work toward fixing this problem in the future? Yeah, I think for the media, amplifying those stories, you know, not backing down and looking the other way when someone like Taraji P. Henson is courageous enough to share the, the real stories that we don't often hear about and talk about with an actress like herself. And I think as far as Hollywood, it's making sure that they don't do this anymore when it comes to women. 140 years to see a rate of progression happen is a really long time. We got to cut that down by 140 years. <laughs> exactly yeah. right. That statistic was really yes. staggering. Uh, yeah. Kelly, thank you so much for that. Yeah. We appreciate it. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.